called a mancha. When did they build it? Located upon a hill 600 meters above the Adriatic Sea in Albania, Amantia and its port Oricum are mentioned for the first time by Pseudo Silax in 330 BC. Yet there are specific features of this fascinating fortress, which is indicative of a now lost civilization. Polygonal masonry, advanced megalithic archways, among other ancient anomalies, litter the site, just like that of Delphi located within Greece. Recognized as Greeks by the Theroradokai of Delphi, the inhabitants were allowed to take part in the Delphic competitions. The true builders of the original site, however, remains unknown. The massive, once impenetrable walls were built before the end of the 4th century BC, and literary sources report them as an Illyrium rather than Epiroti or Macedonian foundation. However, any explanation as to how these ruins were constructed remains absent. Several monuments at the site still survive to this day. The fortified polygonal walls measured at over two kilometers long, a gated entrance, a temple now attributed to the Greek god Aphrodite, and several tombs in the northeastern necropolis. Additionally, like many other areas claimed as the work of the Greek Empire, an impressive stadium also still remains, built east of the ancient city on a natural terrace. Clearly indicative of a tremendous age, any unexplained architecture attached to the stadium, however, has now been lost. But the site of Delphi, the focus of later inhabitants' devotion, still possesses a polygonal floor. One of the reasons for the construction of the site, and indeed what we believe was a later re-inhabitation of its geographically strategic position. Amantia occupied an important defensive position above the Alus River Valley to the east and overlooked an ancient route to the coast and Bay of Alon. Although, like many other sites in the area, they are claimed as Grecian relics, any explanation as to how these feats were achieved remains unexplained. Thus, we feel any continued attribution to a known ancestor can be argued as inaccurate. It is a site which we find highly compelling.